Today on Toy Shiz, we're hoping not to forget which planet the anti-life equation is on. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at McFarland Toys. And today, we are totally checking out their brand new DC Multiverse, Darkseid and Steppenwolf from the new Snyder Cut Justice League 2021 movie. Steppenwolf looking like he's Steppenwolf right out of the movie. And again, make no mistake, this is the 2021 Justice League. Just... Just so we're clear on that. But yeah, nice sculpt, nice design, nice box. These are huge boxes, by the way, not gonna lie. And on the back side, you get to see some photos, you get to see all the different Justice League figures in the wave. And then, of course, here's the barcode if you wanna go ahead and screen grab that. And here, of course, we have Dark Side looking all Dark Side ish, right? The evil ruler of Apocalypse posed well in the box. I, li I like that, the outstretched hand. I wish he had something, maybe like the anti-life equation. Hopefully he can find it sometime soon, but <laughs> Justice League, Dark Side, all that jazz. Same thing as Steppenwolf, but a really nice card art poster right there on the back. I like that. I like that scene from the movie, actually. And of course, like Steppenwolf, here is the barcode as well. The boxes are huge. I wasn't joking. Look at it next to a standard DC multiverse. So on the shelves, they shouldn't be too hard to spot. That's for sure. This is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice recut cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC multiverse, Dark Side and Steppenwolf from the brand new Snyder Cut Justice League 2021 line. And here's both the figures out of their packaging. These are two big Mamma Jamma figures, that's for sure. Before we go any further, I'm going to tell you guys this. I saw the Snyder Cut. I saw the Josh Whedon Cut. I didn't really care for either movie. I was waiting and waiting for superheroes to show up, and they never did. But I do like the villains from the movie, and I always like Darkseid, despite... Doing their own thing with Darkseid, but this figure is very much Darkseid. And I will tell you this, that while I don't really love the designs, the designs don't have anything to do with the McFarlane Toys figures. They made exactly what the movie showed. So in that sense, we're going to talk about how the articulation and everything moves. And while I may not care for like the giant Omega symbol that's buried in Darkseid's chest... It is what it is. So let's start off with Steppenwolf here, and we'll take off the stand. I would say both these figures do benefit from the stands, just FYI. But very nice sculpt. I think they captured the look of Steppenwolf perfectly. Steppenwolf has a very interesting design in the Snyder Cut version. And, I mean, the fact that they were able to translate this so well, he's like a pincushion, by the way, like a rose bush. Just... You try to pose him, and you're going to end up, like, pricking your finger on one of the spikes on him. But the detail that they achieved, the wash, the very idea of what these characters look like translated to plastic bring out so many more details I didn't notice. Like, seven fingers on Steppenwolf's hand. I didn't think I noticed that uh, the first time around. In fact, I'm pretty sure... I did not notice that, but he comes with this giant, massive axe from the movie. That's cool. Fantastic detail all over that. Very machine, very, like, seashell-looking organic bits to it on the backside. The costume carries over. I mean, they went to town on this Steppenwolf figure. So, again, while I may not like the designs of the characters, it does translate very well to action figure form. I'll tell you that all day. The articulation for a big figure works, I think. And in the arms, you're not going to get any butterfly joints, but you'll get a nice ball joint. It does kind of hinder right here on the shoulders where you'll kind of have to drop it down a little bit or else it kind of gets stuck. It's all the design elements of the costume that hits. The head has enough rotation in it for my needs, left, right, Wish I, Well, I'll say this. I wish you could go up, just looking up a little bit better. But again, human pincushion right here on this guy. He do, actually does have bicep swivel on mine. I had to heat it up. 
But yeah, it was very stuck. But he does have bicep swivel. It just was not budging when I was doing it. You can kind of see the semblance of movement. But in the single jointed elbows, just go easy. I had some resistance right there. The wrists are interesting. I don't think they're the most, the most attractive. I think they're more attractive than the ball joints that they use with most of their DC Multiverse figures. But as you can see, yeah, it's kind of wonky. He will spin at the wrists as well. So just go easy at first. It's a lot of the costume, I think, and some of the paint getting in there. But uh, yeah, once you kind of mess him in a little bit, he does unfreeze, we'll just say. He goes back a lot. Front wise, again, kind of, sort of, not as much as I would hope, but he does have that big piece right there. In the front, he will spin at the upper diaphragm and at the waist, he will kick out, do the splits. Nice articulation in the legs. He's got that loincloth, which doesn't hinder. It's like a soft plastic. Single jointed knees. He does have an ankle rock up, down, left, right. And he has, <laughs> this is really funny, individual toe rotation or up and down. Again, I did not notice that while watching the movie. So seven fingers, the toes thing, the fact that he looks like Grumpy Cat. Yeah, it's it's all there. And McFarlane captured it very nicely. Now to go over Dark Side staff, we'll start with that first. Again, much like Steppenwolf's weapon, very detailed. It has the very movie design to it. You know, like the Marvel movies, the de they go it's so design heavy, but it does translate well to plastic. As does this dark side figure. Again, get some stands. It helps with the figures. But that's dark side right there, at least in the face. Now, I know a lot of us aren't really used to the whole shirtless dark side thing. And I'll be honest, I am not either. But in watching the movie and then watching that scene where he goes up against Earth and the primordial era and all of those. I mean, they captured the look of this guy. He does have a weird waist. But again, that's the design of the character. The head works really well on this up down left right you get some nice poses out of it the right here this little chin strap thing tends to move up not that it's not glued down it's just a rubber piece be careful with it when you're moving him around it's just something that is he doesn't have butterfly joints but he does have some nice rotation in the upper arms at the shoulders he does have bicep swivel he's got double jointed elbows as well and like steppenwolf he has the new sort of joints for the wrists, where it pretty much does the same thing, but then it kind of looks like he has a broken wrist, but they are ratcheted, so that's interesting. I really don't mind it because of the poses that I will be doing. It's nice that it's there. Maybe you can figure out, you know, something. I mean, back bent wrist, that's not going to be good for much, but he will spin at the wrist as well. Extra hands really would have been ideal for this giant deluxe dark side figure. He's got a nice ab crunch. He will move forward quite a bit, and he will move back, upper diaphragm, at the waist rotation. So you do get a lot of movement out of this guy. He's very agile. He's very nimble. You can move the legs out. He's got the loincloth. You can see underneath. Again, they're ratcheted joints in the legs. And they work well. So in that sense, the backside right here, this little piece, a part of his loincloth, whatever, apocalypse wear, it's the tiniest little attachment piece of plastic. And... It's flimsy, and I really feel like I'm going to hit it wrong one day, so just be careful. You don't want to, like, tear it off because that's worrisome. He has single-jointed knees, which work very nice. The boots, everything else, he's got these nice ankle rockers. When I pulled this guy out of the package, though, I will tell you that. I had to pull the leg, the foot part off, heat it up, twist the ball, and put it back manually. The ball joints, eh, they... I, again, I like these wrists. They're not fantastic, but I do like them better than the ball joint wrists with some of these figures because a lot of them can get hindered right there. When you want to go ahead and put his weapon in his hand, he holds it nicely. And again, I'm going to tell you all day, extra hands would have been perfect for this guy. But you could get him in all the poses, like he's going to slam this thing down on the earth or take out a bunch of Amazons or get shot by an arrow and get taken down and whatever happens, forgets about the anti-life equation. This is a very nice looking Snyder Cut dark side. I'll tell you that, and I'm going to show you the scale because I think that's the best part about this. Scaling wise, I think that this is where these mega deluxe size figures really shine. And despite if you want to go more for the movies or for the comic books, personally, 
I really like this dark side for the comic book aspect. I think he fits both really well. He's more of the taller, we'll say rebirth sort of style for dark side, just mega, mega huge kind of thing. But he looks really good with all these other McFarlane toys, the figures that have come out thus far. And just in the sense of other collectibild figures or just bigger figures that are packaged, Darkseid and Steppenwolf are now officially the largest. Darkseid being taller, just a smidge taller than Steppenwolf. But Steppenwolf, I think, is more of the stretch because I'm so used to the Jack Kirby look for Steppenwolf. He does make for a good alien, I'll tell you that. He's a giant-sized monster for the Justice League to battle. But for me, I would say Darkseid of the two is definitely the way to go. And with all the Justice League figures so far released, yeah, he looks good. And Steppenwolf, you know, he could fight Green Lanterns. He could fight Wonder Woman. You can see the scalings for each. So he does have a place in your collection, I think. But of the two, I would spring more for Darkseid. It's definitely a dark side we've not really gotten before in action figure form. Yes, he's very much the movie dark side, but dang it all, he looks good from Batman, Wonder Woman, especially Superman, especially if you wanted to go Superman Legacy, like animated series style. Yeah, he's going to go great with that version of Superman. So to wrap things up nicely, I'll tell you this. These are two really nice looking figures. They did a great job really bringing home action figures that look like what you see. The big, huge, larger than life designs are in action figure form. Steppenwolf is impressive. He's a great looking toy. Is he the toy that I absolutely have to have on my shelf? Not really. No, just because I don't really care for that look for Steppenwolf. Darkseid, on the other hand, I fare a little bit better with him. I think he looks great. I think that he could really go with the whole comic book look if you're looking for that. If you're trying to not really have a movie dark side, yeah, then I think you'd be really happy with this figure. As far as the armored dark side that was teased or leaked or whatever, not much has been said. They have said that maybe one is coming later down the road. But if you do want a dark side for now, I do highly recommend this one. I'll leave it to you in the sense of if you really like the Snyder Cut, you probably like the Steppenwolf design. I think that he goes with most for McFarlane toys so far. But then on the other hand, not really. Whereas Darkseid really has that full range. But I think in terms of the sculpt, the paint, they all came out great. I just think that because it's more of a mega figure, a deluxe size figure... Extra weapons, extra hands, those would have been really ideal. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about these figures. Are they for you? Will you be grabbing? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Snyder Cut, Justice League. And thanks again to McFarlane Toys for sending these out to give you guys this fresh look. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, Josh Whedon Cut, Snyder Cut, who cares? <laughs> Just go have fun at the movies. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.